It's daybreak off the coast of the Peloponnese Peninsula. Thodoros Yondorianos is out with his Reporters United colleagues, a network of investigative journalists. They're heading to the Laconian Gulf to document ship-to-ship or STS transfers of Russian oil out in international waters. So we, uh, as the Reporters United, are doing a joint investigation about STS, which is the transfer of oil, fossil fuels, from one tanker to another. Uh, after the Russian invasion to Ukraine, uh, we have seen, we have detected that uh, a lot of uh, STS transfers have been uh, conducted in this area, which is a gulf. Using online marine traffic tracking, the reporters have been logging these STS transfers in the Laconian Gulf for weeks. Most of the tankers carrying Russian oil arrive via the Black Sea. The EU has closed its ports to Russian merchant ships as part of its sanctions package. And by the end of the year, it's set to completely ban the import of Russian oil. As they approach the tanker, the investigative journalists see signs that a first oil transfer is imminent. One tanker has already dropped down those huge balloon-like fenders. They prevent the two tankers from bumping into each other during the transfer. Two other tankers are already in the middle of an oil transfer. The one on the right is taking on the Russian oil and belongs to a Greek shipping company. According to the journalists, Greek ship owners in particular have been making money off of Russian oil, also without disclosing its origins. There is a hypocrisy regarding the ship, the Greek ship owners, which uh, own a lot of channels, TV channels saying that the war is bad, the, the Russian war in Ukraine is bad, but they simultaneously they uh, continue uh, transferring, uh, dealing with uh, Russian fossil fuels all over the world. The ship owners say these operations aren't illegal since they take place in international waters. We asked the Union of Greek Ship Owners for an interview, but they refused. Opposition politicians don't think the ship owners are doing anything wrong, and they say Greece can't pursue sanction violations outside of its sea borders. The EU would have to take action. The oil from Russia, it's not going to Greece, it's going to the whole Europe. Uh, so it's uh, the problem to the hands of uh, United Europe. So for now, huge quantities of crude oil continue to be transferred between tankers off the southern tip of the Peloponnese. That makes environmentalist Yorgos Dautakos nervous. And not just because this region is a breeding ground for sea turtles. We're afraid of a tanker spill. That would contaminate this whole area with oil. We live off of tourism, nature and history. We don't have any industry or significant agriculture. An oil spill would destroy everything we have. A vacation rental owner also expresses concern about a possible oil spill and what that would mean for her business. My vacation rentals only just got finished in this past year. At the time, we were struggling with damage from wildfires. An oil spill now would be an ecological and financial disaster. Reporter Thodoris Hyondroyano says that Greek media are largely silent about these ship-to-ship transfers of Russian oil, which is sold on the global market. To him, this lack of reporting isn't surprising. The ship owners control uh, the media in many ways. Maybe they, uh, they have advertisements, maybe they, they have shares of the media. And I think that they're so powerful in political terms, so the media avoid reporting uh, on them. The journalists, therefore, keep up their investigation. The transfers continue after nightfall, indirectly pumping money into Moscow's war chest.